Good afternoon. My name is Katerina Darchenko, and uh, I have request to analyze John Futterman's campaign because this candidate not look like classical candidate, and um, it's a um, very good example of work with uh, you know, some stereotypes and with very successful work uh, with his image and his messaging. So now we will watch short video um, from uh, his um, political history and then analyze it uh, together. There's a lot of great towns in Pennsylvania that people living there feel like their best days were a generation ago or more. No one deserves to be abandoned. These communities deserve help. You are the mayor. Correct? That's correct. Okay. Real estate prices have dropped 50%. Correct. The population has fallen from 20,000 to 3,000. You're encouraging people to move there, okay? All right, so I'm sold. But for people, people who don't get it, sell us on Braddock. I, I came to Braddock, you know, 20 years ago because I wanted to work and fight against the inequality that I... ...holy and community. But that's exactly where I wanted to, to spend my career. Federley wears Braddock on his sleeves. The zip code tattooed on one arm, the dates of murders on the other. The things that I learned, you know, in Braddock is that every place matters. No place deserves to be written off. These places across Pennsylvania feel left behind. They feel, don't feel part of the conversation. That's why Donald Trump went to these small counties and held these big rallies. We cannot afford to take any vote for granted. We cannot afford to take any place for granted. Whether we're in a place like Braddock or a place like Emporium in Cameron County, the smallest county in Pennsylvania. Talk is cheap, but for the last 20 years, I've been working to represent, rebuild, and to advance in these places. As the community marks an important five-year milestone, people are really starting to have hope. Tomorrow will represent the, the fifth anniversary without a, a homicide in town. U.S. Steel plans to invest $1 billion in its Mon Valley Works and make them the most environmentally friendly in America. History was made in the Democratic primary for lieutenant governor. John Fetterman won the five-way race among Democrats. He's a different kind of character, I'll tell you. Yeah, one of that Western Pennsylvania registered Democrat, but voted for Trump. Fetterman can get a lot of those voters. We don't have to agree on everything. But I will always tell you what I believe is the truth. I'm going to fight not for one part of Pennsylvania, not for one party of Pennsylvania, but for one Pennsylvania. Just the way I did as mayor, the way I'm doing as lieutenant governor, and just the way I would as your next U.S. senator. So here you can see perfect work because um, candidates are not, this candidate not look typical and he originally have perfect bio and perfect education, but he not looks like Garvard, Garvard person, you know, and uh, um, so also Pennsylvania, it's hard to win uh, state because uh, they sometimes work for um, uh, Democrats, sometimes for Republicans, so it's in state, but I try to explain it to all uh, my audience, which is pretty international, and uh, you see in this video, and you can compare it with video of Ron DeSantis, uh, which I analyze here, that it's little story. So it's story of county, it's story of town, it's story of uh, Paterman of his family. Uh, it's also a story that he worked with people and it's a story of community and of very diverse community in challenging times. So really, like working in these counties, it's uh, quite challenging. And uh, uh, you can see also his values that he so involved to all these problems that even he get tattoo about that.
So it's viral. You you see that this this issue is viral and it can be weird for some people. But obviously, you will discuss uh, this issue with your friends that some candidates like do that. You also see his family, which not fancy family, but always work together in hard situation. And uh, in uh, in final uh, quotes, you also in some sentences uh, can see his um, um, his experience and his uh, life cycle and why uh, all uh, this work and county matter for him and why he ready to be senator because firstly usually in the United States you serve as congressman lower uh, level and then uh, um, you ready to run for senator which uh, um, it's you represent more voters it's usually two senators and it's uh, more responsibility so originally it's very good viral work uh, very good work for social media you want to discuss it you want to share it so uh, that's why he is have so big support and also please feel free to visit his website and instagram and you you can see also his uh, image, which uh, with which not typical image, and uh, he he is rebellion. So he work in archetype of rebellion, but sometimes with archetype of wise man, and he switches very um, very wisely. So I think it's very interesting case, and feel free to ask me uh, to analyze more political advertising or to show to you how you can use my lecture about hero journey, about archetypes, about making and about connection issue, uh, some issues in your county or your region with your election campaign. Thank you. My name is Katerina Darczyk.